Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're looking at the 2019 AP Statistics uh, free response question number five. And as usual, if um, I have any corrections to make, um, if I make any mistakes in the video, I'll put the corrections in the description below, as well as there'll be a link to the PDF solutions in the description below. So we have a company that manufactures smartphones to develop a new battery that has a longer lifespan than that of a traditional battery. From the date of purchase of a smartphone, the distribution of the lifespan of the new battery is approximately normal with a mean so right, this mean equals 30, standard deviation is 8. For the price of $50, the company offers a two-year warranty on the new battery for customers who purchase a smartphone. The warranty guarantees the smartphone will be replaced at no cost to the customer if the battery no longer works within 24 months of the date of purchase. And how many months from the date of purchase is expected that 25% of the batteries will no longer work? Okay, so the mean is 30, standard deviation is 8, it's a normal curve, and they want to know tw after uh, what, how many months is expected at 25%. So all of these area, this would be 25%, right? And I want to know what 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 value this is. That would be where um, all of these would have failed, right? That's my 25%. So um, here you can use the inverse norm if you want to do it with a with a calculator, which I I highly generally recommend. Going to inverse norm, the area. Inverse norm is always cumulative. It always gives you the area to the left. So you put 0 0.25, uh, mean 30, standard deviation is 8. And so I get this Z value here would have been 24.604. Okay, and that's how many months? Um, between Less than about 24.604 months. So it's pretty close to two years. This is very close to the two years. Okay. Suppose one customer who purchases a warranty is selected at random. What is the probability that the customer selected will require placement within 24 months from the date of purchase? So this is a little, it's the same picture, but what's the probability that here uh, I have 24, that I definitely, like, you know, like they, they would have failed. That means that their, their unit failed in less than 24 months, right? And to find this area, we use um, normal CDF. The lower would be negative 1e99, the upper would be 24, the mean would be 30, and the standard deviation would be 8. So I get this probability to equal 0 0.2266. Okay. Company has a gain of $50 for each customer who purchases a warranty but does not require replacement. The company has a loss of $150 for each customer who purchases a warranty and does require replacement. What is the expected value of gain for the company? Well, that's simply $50 times the probability they needed to be replaced, which is 0 0.2266. All right, sorry, it, it didn't need to be replaced. My bad. Let me do that. Because I get $50 if I don't need to replace it. Part B was telling me the probability that they would need to replace it. So I would do 1 minus 0 0.2266. And then I lose $150 every time I do have to replace it, 2266. So we would do 50 times 1 minus uh, this answer, minus 150 times the answer. I would get 4.67. They would gain $4.67. They don't make a lot, but they do it in, in volume, right? So that, you know, I, I would be surprised if it was around this or maybe even less, because they do it in volume, because they want to buy like, they want to sell like lots and lots of these warranties, and they make four bucks off each one. It's a pretty good deal for them. Um, yeah, so hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you notice I did anything wrong in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.